everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a rather different kind of day. I'm going to show you me cleaning out a notebook. You might want to see that, and then you're going to see some fun stuff with the snow. <laughs> it was ridiculously fun, but I sped it up so it's even funnier now that it's in a chipmunk voice. I'm kind of late on making my video tonight, but you don't know that. Only I know that. And what it was is I was making chicken and I spilled the little bit. Of, I put foil on the rack. It was in my air fryer type oven. And I, I, put, oh, I put tin foil on the rack. And when I went to see what Peace Jim wanted... I dumped some of the oil or the grease from the chicken onto the door and it went in between the glass of the door and it's like, oh, now my little oven, it looks ruined because it has the, the grease under there. So I got the, the screwdriver, it was a Phillips screwdriver I had to use and I took it apart and then I got to the point where I had all the screws out, could get three of the sides to open up and I couldn't get the fourth side to open so I said, Jim, can you help me? And it must be it needed to be popped. There was must have been little plastic must things. Must have been a couple of holding it. And he popped it open. Then I washed the glass, and I still could see some grease in between that glass. And I thought, hmm, it's got little plastic tabs that are holding it. I wonder if I can open it. Well, I just tried on the side of the, and it came apart. So I was able to take the whole door apart, and I just put it all back together and put it away. So hmm. Pretty, pretty glad that it's cleaned because I really didn't like the fact that some grease went down in between the glass. It's like your oven doors that when the glass gets grease, I think, down between or something. I don't know what happens with the, the oven doors. But it gets cloudy and I didn't want this to get cloudy. Well, that's it. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. I forgot to put those videos in, didn't uh -huh. I? Oh, shucks. Now I've got to back up. Uh -huh. I'm going to put two videos in. I'm going to put one in. Well, I'll put them both in together so you'll see them right now. Let's put them in right here. Today I'm taking this, the papers out of this book. It's a book that I had from when I was doing daycare and it's in 2006. And I'm going to put my crafting and crochet papers that I have all over the place in this book and this way I'll have them one place and this one I just printed out this is from Pamela's Adoring Crochet so if you are interested in crocheting and want free patterns go to Pamela's Adoring Crochet I'll put the link in for Pamela all of this paper was in this book now I've got all these nice clear sheets to use for my crafts. Look at this. There was tons in there. This was all from daycare. It's a it's a binder. That I left the the it's got a camel on the top. I left this on there. This is so old. This is from the papers were from 1995 and and up. It's bright and sunny out today. Well, well, it's now instead. See, I got my big old chicken boots on. You wonder where we're going? Well, we're gonna go and see what Jim's doing. Hi! Whoa! This is high snow! Whoa! This is really high snow! I can go up the hill a little bit. I hope you enjoyed the fall. Holy moly, I don't even know if the camera's still on. 
I guess it is. Oh, I'm going back in. Everything's got to, even the lens has ice on it. There, okay. Whoa, that was not fun. I got weights on my ankles and the boots are too big and not a good thing. Oh, look, whoa. These boots are huge. Holy macaroni. was really cold outside. I went outside to see Jim and I was going to go through the chicken area but I took cut that part out so you never saw that part. But um, So I ended up walking around the whole fenced area and by the time I got there and I had weights on my ankles. I still have weights on my ankles. And um, it was this <laughs> getting harder and harder to walk in the snow with the boots that are a size my foot's a size 5 and the boots are uh, I think a size 8. Or nine, I don't know. They're big. Uh, some, some they're, or eight. they're big boots. And with the ankles and the snow and the boots, it was just too much. And then I didn't put a coat on. I just had a sweater on. I didn't put gloves on. I didn't put anything on. I almost was going to go out with no boots, but then I thought, I better put boots on at least. Because there's quite a bit did. of snow. Good thing I did is right. There was a lot of snow. And sorry about the lens being a little bit covered when I fell in the snow. <laughs> that... I didn't realize it was covered. I didn't even know if the camera was still on with all the commotion that went on. And I hope you had a great day and enjoyed the weather. Whether it was um, cold or wet or sunny or snowy or we, warm. We were forecast to have this great big huge snowstorm and it was sunny it. all day. We didn't get it. It was a beautiful day outside as you saw. So we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.